Welcome to this episode of On Photography. In this episode, I want to talk a little bit about disassembling um, some cheap action cameras. And you might say, but Joe, why would I want to take apart a cheap action camera? And the reason is there's a ton of things or mods you can do to these. And I'll talk about some of these in future videos. And it's just really cool what you can do. So you can, you know, add external mics. You can remove the cut filter to make it a full spectrum camera. Uh, maybe you want to repair it. Maybe you want to do some antenna mods for the Wi-Fi. So there's, again, a ton of things you can do. And you can pick these things up for dirt cheap. You know, sub 30 bucks off of eBay, Amazon all day long. So it's really an interesting platform to do something cool with. And one of the things I found is is most of these cheaper ones and again I'm not talking about GoPros but you know the cheaper knockoffs again you're gonna get for sub 50 bucks pretty much all come apart the same way and that's what I want to cover in this video is how do you take one apart and what's inside so you can see here here's what's inside because I've already taken this one apart and what I'm gonna do is since I have this apart I'm gonna walk you guys through a little bit uh, typically how they come apart now each one may be a little bit different, but again, as I've said, most of them are about the same. So, typically they come apart from the front. And so you have the main body here, and this is the front, and this is the back where the screen um, attaches. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But in the front, you typically have this uh, bezel or faceplate that pops in. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that there's clips around here. Um, that this just simply pops in here. So what you need to do is you can take a very fine regular screwdriver and work it underneath here and pop this up is typically what I can do. You can also uh, use an X-Acto knife like I have here. Be very careful though if you do so you don't pop a blade. But typically you can just find on a corner, work the blade under, pop it up, and then just simply work the screwdriver around because as you can see here, it's just, you know, the atypical plastic tabs, uh, one on actually each side. And so you just pop those up and this comes off. Underneath, what you'll find is this main board assembly that you see here. And you'll also have this other cover plate. Now this cover plate is actually what holds everything together. And this sits like this. Now what you can see is this is your power button right here in the front and there's usually a series of screws and I've removed the screws and I have them in this cup and it typically takes a very small Phillips screwdriver like this to remove them. Once this is removed this typically tips up and it exposes the uh, board. Oh one thing I forgot to mention uh, inside this piece there's typically a retainer clip uh, for the lens that sits in here and again, this just simply take this, the regular screwdriver again, and it just pops out. As you can see, it just has, if I don't drop it, it just has three tabs on it. And then this will lift up and expose the board underneath. Now, typically your battery compartment will sit on top, sort of like this. But this, this unit will um, sort of come up. But now one of the pieces is this is also attached to the screen in the back. And the way that this comes apart is this has just almost like a plastic coating because this is your screen here and this is the bezel. And it's just actually glued into the back and it sits on these tabs. So all you need to do is take the X-Acto knife and work around a corner and pry it up and it'll pop out. And then what you have on the back is one of these little clips and you simply yeah, move the clip up with the regular screwdriver and the ribbon cable will pull out and this whole assembly will lift out. Now there's typically three or four screws that hold this battery cover on. You can remove that because one of the pieces if you want to access your uh, CCD or your sensor, it's probably a CMOS actually, um, you have to remove the battery cover because again this this cable connector down here is under the battery compartment so it actually sits on there and uh, it's just lightly glued, you can see, to the board here. So again, it's a pretty simple disassembly process. And uh, while I have this apart, what I want to do is share a couple pieces with you. So uh, let's see if I can move this out of the way a little bit. Uh, because what we have here is we have 
the Wi-Fi antenna. So this is your 2.4 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi antenna. So say you were working on this for a drone or you want to modify it. Well, you'd simply replace this antenna. So you could, dr you know, drill a small hole in here, put an SMA connector or something like that um, to put a longer range antenna on it. Would be a cool project. The other piece is, is we have our mic sitting up here. So we could also replace this mic this cheesy little mic here with you know an external mic outlet it'd be mono but hey that'd be pretty cool and then we have our speaker sitting over here and so again you could have an audio output jack or you can could combine these both into a headphone type style jack so you have audio out and audio in uh, for different vlogging vlogging purposes I'll spit that out so a lot of projects you can do the other piece is, is you can um, disassemble this now this one ha happens to have a lot of epoxy or some kind of glue around here um, but typically if you want to make this a full spectrum camera you could simply just screw this out you know have to in this case work the glue out from around here uh, remove it and take the hot mirror out and either just simply replace the lens or place in an IR filter in, in its place. So again, lots of opportunities for hacking these um, cameras. But the biggest thing is, is kind of knowing what to expect when you get in them, how to take them apart in general. And again, as I've mentioned at the onset of this, most of these come apart in the same way. So again, pretty easy to modify, if you will and to take apart so uh, a lot of fun for you know sub 30 bucks and you can do a lot of different things if you're a little bit handy with the soldering iron and kind of know your way around it is not really an advanced project so anyways hopefully you found this interesting i'll probably be doing more mods on this in the future um and showing some other stuff of how i've made modifications to different action camps so stay tuned for that also if you may be thinking of something specific let me know in the comments below and maybe i'll move that up in the list so anyways hopefully you found it interesting if you did hey give it a big thumbs up don't forget subscribe button coming up over there and we'll see you guys in the next video cheers